Hey, physics students, welcome back. We're going to learn about uniform acceleration today in section 2.5 of our CK12 textbook. So we're going to talk about the majority or most of the time when we talk about acceleration in our physics, this basic level physics class, we're going to talk about where it's constant, meaning that uh, you're accelerating at a constant rate. You're not stopping and starting, that your acceleration is going to be consistent in one direction. So, for instance, jumping off of a, if a cliff like that into a body of water, you are accelerating consistently or uniformly due to gravity. You're falling at a constant rate, 9.8 meters per second squared, which we'll learn in a few chapters when we learn about laws of motion. And that is what's called constant or uniform acceleration. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about what does it mean when we look at different uh, acceleration and we talk about acceleration in being constant okay so that's what we're gonna be talking about today so let's get going with that okay oops there we go so uniform acceleration so just again we're gonna remind you just of a few variables we talk about here the first one is vi always stands for initial velocity oftentimes the initial velocity of a moving object or what's called a body a moving body is going to be zero it hasn't been moving its initial velocity is zero it is at rest the final velocity is what you're measuring whether you're measuring the the rate of the fall or you have a speedometer on a car or on your bicycle the final velocity is symbol as vf so there's this relationship between velocity and acceleration under this e equation right here the final velocity equals the initial velocity plus the acceleration whatever the acceleration is times time so on a graph we'll show this in another lecture but I, on a graph our slope the slope is going to be acceleration if you if you recognize this if you recognize this one this is a, in a linear equation y equals b times mx here's mx plus b equals y so the m here is represented by in our uh, linear equation is our rate or our acceleration which is the slope so think of on a time velocity versus time graph the slope is the acceleration okay so here's we're going to talk about a few problems here let me um let me switch up my view here so we can um you can see i can use my pen there we go. Now I can use the pen a little bit. All right. So we're going to talk about um, a different a couple of different things and I'll, I'll label some things here for. So here's example one. If an automobile with a velocity of four meters per second accelerates at a rate of four meters per second squared for two and a half seconds, what is the final velocity? What is the final velocity? What is the final velocity? So here, I'll, um, I'll rearrange our slide here so I can do some writing here on it. So let's do some labeling. Let's label a few things here. Okay, so we're gonna label, what is this? We're gonna, we're gonna write down what we got. So what we got right here, what you got, okay? We have velocity, this is a velocity. So our velocity, that's our VF. If an automobile already has a velocity, it is 4.0 meters per second, okay? Draw that in there, okay? And it accelerates, so this is telling us this right here. This is our acceleration. So our acceleration is 4.0 meters per second squared for this long, for 2.5 seconds. So now we have a T equals 2.5 seconds okay and what do we need what is needed i'll draw a little line right there what is needed we want to know the final velocity so i was incorrect so this is not initial velocity this is an initial velocity so let me correct that little mistake i made there okay equals and that's initial velocity so our formula is vf equals vi plus acceleration times time. So we'll just fill in what we know. 4.0 meters per second 
plus 4.0 meters per second squared times time, which is 2.5 seconds. So if we do get our calculators out, calculate that, we will get the answer of 14 meters per second would be our final velocity. So an automobile starts its driving at four meters per second. It accelerates at four meters per second, every second, second squared. And for it does that for two and a half seconds. When it's all done doing that acceleration, it started at four, accelerated at four for two and a half seconds. The final velocity when it's done will be 14 meters per second. So that's our first one. So we got a final velocity. Let's do another one here. Let's do another one here where we deal with this one. So it says if a cart slows from 22 meters per second with an acceleration of negative 2 meters per second squared. So negative means it's slowing down. So right here it slows down. Okay, then it slows down. And then how long does it require to get to 4 meters per second? All right, so what we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and start this process here. We're going to go ahead and label things. Let's get a different color here. Let's get somewhere in the green since we have a green slide. Okay, so we have a cart slows from, meaning that it already had an initial velocity. Its initial velocity was 22 meters per second. Okay, that's just in 22 meters per second with an acceleration. So the acceleration we know A is going to be negative 2.0 meters per second squared. Okay, and then how long does it require to get to 4 meters per second? How, so we're going to get to that. So that is our final velocity, is 4 meters per second. So we're going to say, how long does it take us to slow down? So what we're looking for, I didn't write in what you got, but I listed it there. So here's what we need. We need time. Okay, so we're going to have to rearrange our equation here. VF equals VI plus A times T, okay? So what we do here is we're going to have to rearrange our equation here. So rearrange and solve for T here. So this is what our equation would be when we solve for T. Final velocity minus initial velocity divided by acceleration. That would be what that would equal. So we'll go and plug in our numbers, 4.0 minus 22.0 divided by our acceleration of minus 2. 2, let me get uh, that here. Okay, let me move myself over here. Okay, and then that is going to equal negative 18 divided by negative 2, which would be 9.0 seconds. So when a car, or a cart, is traveling 22 meters per second and it's decelerating 2 meters per second every second, how long will it take to slow down to 4 meters per second? It'll take 9 seconds for that to slow down. So that's how we use uh, that equation. So here is our equation we're using. This is how you use an equation when you have a velocity, or you have an initial velocity, a final velocity, acceleration, and time. So that is how we're going to be using this equation. Next time when we come together, we will talk about how we can translate that into some distances. Now we have velocity, and we have time and acceleration. Now next time, we're going to talk about displacement or distance. So that's it for this time, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.